stickers are gone. Oh yeah. That looks much better in stickers. That's it for day two or three. All right, today we're gonna to be doing the lift kit. So we've got it jacked up. Bought new tie rods, even though I think these look good. These are greasable, the ones I bought are. But here's the whole lift kit. So on the left, you got heavy duty leaf springs, the new tie rods, and then the front end six inch lift. These lifts on eBay go for like 80, 90 bucks, but there's this one company that sells tires and wheels too this company they're asking 195 and I said well what's the difference between yours and everybody else's at the same picture and I said theirs has a thicker coating and it comes with full instructions so I don't know it does look like a nice coating but I bet this is all made at the same factory in China so let's see how the front comes out so there's a follow-up in the middle of this install I got everything in and maybe due to their thick coating they say is so good it made it to where the sleeve will not fit through for the uh, spindle here so I guess I'm gonna have to grind down some of that to get that to slide in there's no other way to put this together without that going in Dremel slides right in it was just the thickness of the powder coating or paint that was keeping it from going in Hopefully that helps somebody. So as a follow-up to this, and I read online a lot of reviews that people said there was play in between the spindle and the new front axle, and there is. So I went to the hardware store and I got two 7 8 inch because it has to fit the sleeve. You can see them on top there. And then once I tighten down, you get it to where there's no slack and it's really tight with the uh, steering and smooth. So hopefully that helps somebody. after two base coats. I touch the gray. I'm gonna do one more even though it looks good. And then hopefully I can clear coat today. <laughs> <laughs> 